Here is part one of creating a camera holder for an airspace balloon using FreeCAD. We launched the FreeCAD application. Uh, we create a new document. We create a new sketch within the document. Defaults here are OK. We create a rectangle. It doesn't matter uh, what the dimensions are. We click it at the second corner to close the rectangle. Incidentally, we're in the part design workbench for all of this. Uh, notice in the solver message, um, we have four degrees of freedom, which means that this rectangle could get um, taller, uh, it could get wider, um, and it could move um, both left, right, and up and down. So let's first resolve the issue of keeping it from getting wider. Right, right now, notice that I can make it as wide or as narrow as I want to. Um, if we highlight one of these lines by clicking it once to turn it green, and then we go up here to constrain it to a horizontal distance, we can make it, um, let's make it uh, 44 millimeters and say OK. Now uh, it can no longer get wider. I can move the whole thing, but I can't make it wider. Uh, similarly, for the vertical dimension, we highlight either this or this. Um, we click this constraint and we make it uh, 39 millimeters vertically and now now it's always going to be a 44 millimeter by 39 millimeter rectangle regardless of where we put it. The next thing I'd like to do is I'd like to center it over the origin. Uh, the simplest way to do this would be to highlight uh, that point and that point. I could also have done the two opposite corners. Notice I've made them green by clicking them. Then I highlight a third point um, and then I go to this tool here and watch what happens when I click it. And now it's a fully constrained sketch. This became green and there, and now if I try to move it nothing happens because I can't make it wider, I can't make it um, taller and I can't move it off the origin. So now we will um, close it and uh, we'll go into the model and we will right click this and say rename and we'll call this, uh, I'll just call it base, it's an arbitrary name and um, then it's time to save our work so far so we'll say save and we'll call it uh, camera holder and um, there we go. So um, next we want to give this some dimensionality so I'll convert this to axometric view and then I will use the pad tool and um, we will make it um, let's see we'll make it uh, 54 millimeters um, deep, uh, I think 44 millimeters deep. The reason everything's ending with a 4 is that I'm adding uh, 2 millimeters on each side um, to all my dimensions which you'll understand in a little bit. And actually now that I'm looking at that I think 34 millimeters is more appropriate. So we'll save that again. It's a good idea to do a save. We'll say OK. Then we'll do a save um, whenever we get to a stopping point Notice now that we have, we've made a single object that consists of the base, which is the two-dimensional sketch, plus the padding operation. So let's rename that padding operation as well, and we'll call it pad um, base. And uh, then it's time to hit return, and let's save that again. All right. Now I would like to create a pocket for a camera to fit inside that pad base. So we will highlight this face and we will create a new sketch on that face. It's very important to understand that we're creating the second sketch on one face of the first sketch. This is an essential point to understand. We'll say create sketch. Now um, Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. I'll go to view 
and I will go to fit all. Uh, then we will take our rectangle tool again and uh, click it to pick it up. Uh, we'll draw an arbitrary rectangle and then we will um, dimension it, which you know how to do now. We're the same situation, four degrees of freedom. We'll highlight that. We'll give it a horizontal dimension of, let's try 30. Now I think we want 40. So let me double click that again. Make it 40. That looks about right. And then we will, um, and if you want to see it a little better, we can drag it over there. Um, then uh, let's give it a vertical dimension. And uh, let's try 35 for the vertical dimension. That looks about right. And notice how it's not centered. So let's do the centering operation again, which would be uh, clicking once to pick up that corner, turn it green. Click one more time to pick up that corner and turn it green. Then um, one more time there and impose this constraint. Now it's centered. We're fully constrained. We close it. We go to the model and we will right click this and rename it uh, camera pocket and um, now we've got that named and now let's go to axiometric view again and now we need to actually make a pocket to slide the camera down into so we will um, with this highlighted we will do the pocket operation and let's make the pocket I forget how deep this was so let's start the pocket out at uh, 30 millimeters and that looks about right you see inside there we can see that there's still a bottom to this uh, let's make it 35 and now there's a hole so we know that we know that the overall depth of this uh, must be 35 or less because we now see daylight through there uh, let's make it 34 uh, 33 okay 33 and so now now that closed the hole and so let's make it 32 and now we're done with the pocketing operation we have a uh, two millimeters of plastic on all sides of this this would be a good time to save um, and also it's a good time to do a rename we'll call it um, we'll rename this and we'll call it pocket camera and I now see that this name was unfortunate so let me just call this uh, camera alright now the last thing we need to do we'll save at this point and then um, let's go to um, this view it should have us looking down into it and we will choose the bottom surface of that pocket uh, we've got to make a hole for the lens of the camera so now that we've chosen that we will create a sketch on that surface and um, we will make a hole and I think on the GoPro the hole is going to be about here and we let's move that to the right spot exactly and this spot is not really dimensioned yet because we're going to have to get our calipers out and figure out about where it is so I will just leave that not completely constrained um, and I'm going to close it and when I close that, I'm going to name that, um, rename lens. Um, and finally, we will pocket that, but we'll pocket that all the way through. So um, we will say pocket.
and we will change it to through all and we will say OK and we will rename this pocket pocket lens and now notice that we can notice that every item consists of a two-dimensional drawing and then a pad or pocket operation to make it three-dimensional so we have first the base then the major uh, rectangular depression for the camera and then a through hole to let the lens stick through so we will close these up to make it look neater we will save and then we can also look at the dependency graph to make sure that it's uh, linear dependencies so we'll go to tools and we'll say dependency graph and that is what we want to see the base the, we pad the base then we build the camera on top of it pad that or pocket that and then we build the lens on top of that and pocket that so there is a correct example we can close that dependency graph now uh, and we can go look at this in axometric view and there is a correct example of um, how to create a plastic case for a GoPro camera so we'll close that and this concludes the demonstration.